Hello? Good morning, good night, or good evening to everyone. Hello? Um, so yeah. Oh, hello, Jartza. Hello, hello. How are you? Um, we're back again in Kingdom, Two Crowns. Uh, so last time we played this last week, um, we managed to destroy one of the goblins. Goblins? Gridlings? I'm not even sure. We managed to destroy one of their main portals. So I'm excited to see what kind of massacre we are going to commit this time around. How are you, by the way, Jartza? So, we are on which island again? We are on the first island. We managed to destroy the second... Sorry, not second. Third island. So, that's good. That means I don't have to worry about this anymore. So, yeah. This is gonna be a breeze good it's pizza day Ooh, what kind of pizza are you having hello vigor hello hello okay i think the left side is clear from bottles wait did we I think we did. We did destroy everything in here except for the main portal that is on the left. Sorry, on the right. Did I read the custom backroom levels I sent to the Discord last time? I did. I did read it on Discord. Is it the fandom one, right? The void? I, I don't remember. <laughs> but I did read it. Newborn Void. Yes, okay. Quite interesting. Okay, so... I can hire this three people. Hmm, okay, so... Here's our plan. We're gonna recruit as many people as possible. So basically, we we did have to stop from scratch, but that's okay. That's okay. Also today for you, bigger is a Roblox day where you play one of your favorite games in Roblox. Ooh, that you played it for like three years. That's a long time to play. I've never played Roblox before, so yeah, glad you are enjoying it. It's called Doors. <laughs> Why you call it specifically Doors? Okay, we have a lot of money. Yes, do tell me about it. Why do you call it doors? You played this game too? Could never survive too much over one year. Sorry. <laughs> one hour. Oh man, I struggled so much in this game in the beginning because I... I've played a lot of Kingdom Classic and Kingdom to, um, New Lands. But this game is entirely its own breed. I remember the first time I played this, I struggled so much that I had to start a new save and had to play it on easy, which is this save. And even on <laughs> even on easy, look look at how many times I've died. So this is my first play um this is my first playthrough of this save file. So one Two, three. Okay, the third one I survived for a long time because I've become strategic on how to do stuff, but I've made some idiotic mistake which leads to my untimely demise. The fourth strike, I did manage to destroy a goblin cave 
So that's good. So this is on my fifth um, monarch, basically. So I'm I'm quite excited to see what kind of progress I'm gonna make this time around. Okay, we do have a lot of coins. Okay, we do we do need a lot of archers. That much I know. We do need a lot of um, samurais too. That is gonna be quite a difficult task to have, huh? We don't have enough diamonds. So indoors, you are in a hotel, and you start a lobby. And you have to go through 100 doors to win while numerous entities are trying to kill you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's quite <laughs> that's quite a challenge. So these entities, do they kill you in one strike or are you able to take a few hits before you are out? But you won it three times? Ooh, nice, nice. So some entities kill you in one shot, but other others need multiple hits. Interesting. So, are they the type that um, that continuously haunt you, or do they do they give up when you try to hide or something like that? Man, that <laughs> if that's the case, I would get so <laughs> I I would feel with um anxiety to know that I would get my ass kicked by the monsters at any given time. Yeah, sure, Vigor. Do tell me each entity and what it, what they do, and what chances each entity has to spawn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. Am I missing something? I've I'm looking for a uh, a statue. Oh, there we go. How did I miss you in the first play? First run through. There we go. So, Jarza, um you said that you couldn't survive more than 1 hour in this game, right? Have you uh, made it far to other islands before <laughs> or have you do have you tried what I did which is to play on the easier difficulty <laughs> otherwise I am really really stuck if I play in normal mode only like two to three days. Oh, okay. Yeah, this game is for such a simple mechanic, it can be quite difficult. It requires a lot of strategy, huh? Next time you try easy. Yeah, yeah. Do try easy. What the f Why are there so many archers in this tower? Hello? I think I did. I'm the one who did that. Oops. Okay. So. Okay, what's my plan right now? I do need a lot of archers. Yeah, 
Okay. Oh, right. <laughs> I keep forgetting. My whole plan is to make this one, this bomb. Okay, okay. Now I know what to do. So I do need a lot of samurais and a lot of archers. Okay, that's the plan. So, Vigor, um, the first entity is Rush, which basically when the lights flicker, you have to be ready and hide inside a closet until Rush goes by, but in an area called the Greenhouse, which is the last 10 to 12 doors, because there are no lights, you have to trust your hearing and hide fast once you hear Rush coming. My god. I would get anxiety from playing that game. <laughs> Bigger. How do you manage... Hello? How do you manage to do that, Bigger? Oh, shoot! Okay. <laughs> Rush has 8.5 chance to spawn. Okay. Okay, okay. I I need I need to relax. Okay. Get into the castle wall first, then I can read your message, Vigor, okay? <laughs> oh, man. Do not make a simple mistake. Hey. Okay, nice. Um so Rush has eight point five chances. 8.5% chance to spawn every time you open a door, 1% chance to spawn at door 2. The chance increase from 8.5 to 10% after door 50. And chances increase again at 25% inside the greenhouse. Oof. Big oof. How do you deal with that, Vigor? How do you deal with that? Because... Yeah, I, I guess you would need to pay close attention to your surrounding. But man, oh man, you died 124 times in that game. <laughs> oh man, that's... Yeah, that's harsh. Nice. We do. We do need a lot more. A lot more arches. On top of arches, we do need a lot of um, um, builders because we need three builders to push the bomb, bomb carriage. So yeah, basically, we basically need a lot more. Okay, before we do anything, I'm gonna send you for one final Hey Man, I feel so dumb for for upgrading this tower why would i need four arches on a place that doesn't even spawn monsters anymore 
Interesting. Okay. I do need to save... have a lot of coins so let's oh no the banker is already going inside okay whatever okay so vigor the next entity is hide hide is always at every single run with um, what he does is that if you hide for too long in a closet or under a bed he will kick you out dealing you 40% damage and make you unable to hide for 20 seconds. You can hide for 20 seconds before hide kicks you out. But in the greenhouse, the time limit you have to hide decreases by 1 second every time you open a door in the greenhouse. Wait, 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 wait. I don't understand. So, um, hide only exists in the... First half of the level, meaning level 1 to level 49, and level 50 to 100, they don't exist. Is my assumptions correct? Or no, no, oh, okay. <laughs> I exist in every single door except 50 and 100. Oh, okay. I misread that. Okay, that's okay. That makes sense. So why specifically door 50 and 100? I mean, I, I get that door 100 is your final goal, which is the final level, but why... 50. Do you recover health or something? Because there is the hardest boss of the game. Oh. Ooh, okay. What what kind of boss awaits you at door 50 and 100? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm too excited for the entities so yeah do do tell me about the other entities okay let me clear up this I do want to make it my life's goal to completely, completely clear up this whole island so that there is no more forest. I'm going to make it my life goal <laughs> to make it that a reality. Next entity figure is Ambush. Ambush is like Rush but he can rebound. Basically, come back and forth a few times during this before this spawning. And because of height, you have to come in and out of closet to avoid ambush. Where are you going, sir? Oh, do they hide now that we have despawned? It's Safety house? Sir? It's interesting, I've never seen the merchant walk into the forest Interesting so what does ambush do? 
It's kind of like Rush, but do they deal a lot more damage to you? Why are they... Okay. I was thinking why they were so slow. Okay. That should take a little bit more time. I wonder if the merchant is still... Still there. What do you guys think? Oh, we can. What are you doing, sir? Hello? So... Ambush has 0.5% chance to spawn at door 2. 2.5% chance every time you open a door before door 60. <laughs> okay, chances increase to 6.5% after door 60. And ambush can rebound a random amount of time from 1 to 6. And no, both rush and ambush one shot you. Um. Oof. Are they... Are they... Do they exist... In a single... At a single instances? Do they both... Exist... In single... Uh, for example, if you go to... Door 75... Let's say... Uh, do both ambush and rush... Exists or only one can exist at one door. Interesting, <laughs> it's interesting, but knowing my level of competency and my level of stress, <laughs> I don't think I don't think that's gonna be quite the game mode for me. No, only one can exist at a time between rush and ambush. Okay, so phew. Let's make a whole lot more manageable. Not easier, but manageable, I have to say. keep forgetting that I have a finite amount of oh no finite amount of space in my coin pouch unless you speed run and instead of hiding you can go through doors and manage sp what manage spawn both um I don't quite understand what you mean by that can you explain a little bit more about what you meant by that? Okay, that's good. Why do this house not spawn any more villagers? Hello? Hmm, okay. Um, 
for example, let's say at door 66, Rush spawns and instead of hiding, you keep going through doors and if you go to door 70, Ambush can spawn while Rush is still coming. So... <laughs> Wait, does that mean that they... What? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's gonna take me quite a while to understand this. Yeah, it's a little bit complicated. Yeah. Um, so wait, if you go to door 66 and then you rush to door 70, let's, for example, right? In your example. Uh, do... Do... Rush... Despawn or something? Is that what you meant by that? Rush won't despawn. But you said that only one entity can spawn at one single time. So by doing that, by rushing to door 70, you basically have to deal with two entities? Is that what you meant? Yeah, only one entity can spawn between Rush and Ambush if you hide. Oh. <laughs> so if you only rush, you can spawn both of them at a single time. Yikes. That's a lot. Okay. Ah, okay. So the next entities is called Ice. Ice just damages you when you look at him. 5% chances damage per second. Is it a damage over time or... Oh, I guess it's... Okay, per second if you look at him. Okay. They just simply look away. Eyes have 7.5% chance to spawn at each door. 2.5% chance to spawn at a hospital room that exists. And 14% chance to spawn at every door in the greenhouse. Hmm, okay. I understand. So basically, ice is a very passive enemies unless you directly look at them. Oh my god, you managed to come back. Okay, I don't know where you get your wares from, but thank you for coming back. Okay, so I am gonna go in deeper into the forest so that I can get some more villagers. We need a constant supply of villages. Okay, the next entity is called Timothy. Timothy. He is a small spider that can jump scare you when opening drawers or chests, dealing 5% damage, but no matter how many times you see him, you will always get scared. <laughs> that is really cheap of Timothy.
Okay, so... Still, we still need to do a lot of stuff, huh? Okay, so... Hmm... Do you guys think I will survive if I do a bomb right now? What are you doing? Hello, sir? I deposit my money because I want you to keep it safe. Okay, so Timothy has 3.5% chance at every drawer you open, 1% chance at every chest, 1% chance at every drawer in the lobby, and 0.2% chance at every drawer in the hospital room. Okay. But if you said that they only deal 5% damage... <laughs> the biggest damage that Timothy can do is that by jump scaring you, you lose your composure in real life. Okay. I want to make this... A bomb. But I do need to expand first, huh? Okay. Hmm. Okay, let's um try expanding on the right side here. We do need to get until we can upgrade the samurai into um the armored version of them. Is it? No, not a Blood Moon Knight. But where are the monsters? Hello? Okay, okay, interesting. No monsters? Okay. Okay, Vigor, the next entity is called Halt. When you enter a room and the lights flicker for too long, then you know that the next room is Halt. Halt's room is a long hallway and you have to go through the door. Go to... You have to go to the door, but every time your screen flashes, you have to turn around because Halt will, sp will spawn in front of you. Halt two shots you. Why do you need to turn around? Is there a reason? Okay. Let's build a barrier here, just, just so we can make some sort of progression. Because if you don't halt, if you don't, halt will catch you. Okay, I get it, but why specifically you need to turn around? Is it like eyes? Where you can't look at them for too long, otherwise you would go, you would get hurt. 
Alt has 1.5 um, chance at every door, but he spawns only after door 7. And when entering his hallway, there is 0.55% chance for Halt to just disappear. Interesting. Okay, I need you guys to work a little bit quicker, okay? It's almost night time. Come on, you can do this. Oh, when you said turn around, you meant turn around and walk the other way. Aha. Uh -huh. So this is the catapult. Where is the... What? Am I missing something? I'm definitely missing something. So, what's the plan here? I do need to get a blacksmith, but I don't think blacksmith is gonna spawn anytime soon. Oh my god, you guys have a lot of coins. Why is the monsters not spawning? I can try and make a barrier here, but that's not gonna help. Or do I even need to fully upgrade my samurai? Hmm. Interesting, interesting. The next entity is called Snare. Snare is a small pile of dirt with spikes but he exists only at the beginning of the greenhouse. Sorry. <laughs> only at the green only at the greenhouse and you can have multiple snares. Um in a room up to 10 with a 50% chance to spawn at least 1% sorry I can't read um, spawn at least one if you step on snare he deals 5% damage but he can't kill you and then stuns you for a few seconds giving time for rush to come and kill you and cause the greenhouse is dark if you don't have a light source good luck on spotting him yeah oof that's gonna be a tough one huh I'm so sad that there's no more. Can you give me money, please? Thank you. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is that after this night, I am gonna fully upgrade this wall. So that it becomes the copper? Copper lace? Or is it iron? I'm not even sure. Then we're gonna continue on 
demolishing this forest. And we'll see whether or not the um, blacksmith is going to spawn or not. Okay. Oh, by the way, how's your weekend? Sorry, not weekend. Week so far. Um, I recently... I mean, today, not... Today, I, um, we had a statewide, um, election just for, uh, it's not, it's not a magic election that we had to go out for vote, but it's for, um, a much smaller, it's, uh, it's called a state, but inside the state, there are very numerous region and each region contributes to the whole state if that makes sense also if you guys have the opportunity to go out and vote in your state election or your country's election make sure you guys go out and vote okay Voting is important. Do not abstain. Please. Um, okay, so Vigor, uh, the next entity is Dupe. Dupe spawns only at rooms with two or more exit doors. And he can make one of those doors a fake door. <laughs> That's a fake door. And if you enter it, he jump scares you, dealing 40% damage to avoid him. You have to remember which door you just enter. Dupe erases the number when you enter the room, so you don't see it. That sucks. It's not bad enough that you are already stressed enough being chased. <laughs> That's... Horrifying. Dupe has 17% 17, 17 chance to spawn at every multiple door room. 10% chance if it's a dark room. 4% chance to use two effect doors. And 1.35% chance if it's a dark room. Oh, come on. I don't... I really don't want to spawn the treasure chest just yet, but I guess it's inevitable. Okay, so what is my next goal? Actually, it's gonna be hard for me to decide. The next entity is Switch, the second most heated entity. Switch spawns in a dark room and when you hear a sound, you have to look around and stare at Screech to avoid him. And light source reduces the chances of him spawning. Interesting. You would think that an entity called Screech <laughs> would... um would make use of more sound well I guess it does the telltale sign of him coming is by the sound of his sound right but you would guess that the entity would I mean scream at you 
at the top of the lung to deafen you and immobilize you in some case. Okay, let's do that. And light source reduce... Um... Okay, um, Jarza, uh, is there other islands other than just the first one where is all of my big building <laughs> what day is it <laughs> uh, we are currently in day 13 and currently my plan is to make a bomb make a bomb so that i can destroy you see that there is a big um, almost trapezoid shape portal down there right yeah, I'm going to try and destroy that. But in order for me to destroy that, you need to prepare a lot of stuff, basically. So the only reason I am able to do this island's portal is because I had a, a ton of time to prepare. But yeah, I do I do agree with you, Jarza. I guess I do need to just bite the bullet and go for it. Okay. Um, my big building is at the center of my town. Um, I'm trying to spawn a blacksmith, which has eluded me for quite a while now. I'm not sure why, but I'm quite sad that it doesn't spawn. Okay, I am going to try and... Force it to spawn. Hopefully. Okay, this is the samurai one. That is one of the buildings. I mean, we do have samurai already, right? <gasps> Blacksmith. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Okay. So we need four of this. Oh dang, okay. Oof, okay, we need we need a lot, a lot of money. Okay, come on dude, give me money. Okay, so... Um, Rich has 11 chance to spawn Vigor. 11 chance per second. What? Eleven percent chance every second is too much. <laughs> I am so confused. Okay. I I don't even need to do that. Okay. So here's the plan. Our samurai is fully upgraded, right? Okay. We do need to give them money so that they can be fully upgraded and protected okay oh shoot it's a blood moon night oh gosh okay um how to do this Okay, so 
let's let's do this then. We do need a lot a ton more arches. That much I know. Ooh, it's a foggy day. Hello? Give me money, please. Thank you. Okay. Why not? Why not just make a ton of arches? Okay, you know what? Um, we should be fine this time. Uh, the keyword here is should be. Oh man, I'm I'm so scared right now. Look at that. The blood moon is coming. The blood moon. Okay. So the first boss is called Seek. During the run, you might see a few eyes appearing on walls that seek crescendo, and during that rush, an ambush cannot spawn. Um. And to avoid sick, just run. You have to go through obstacles whilst... What are you doing? What? Uh, while sick is chasing you, and any mistake can be fatal. Sick is 100% chance at door 29 to 40, and door 60... 65 and 76. Okay. Just have to go through obstacles while Seek is chasing you. That is a huge... <laughs> huge... Um, a, a Herculean task to do, huh? Is there... No... Builders around here. Hello? Okay, let's go! Let's go gamers, let's go! We are gonna go and make history okay bear in mind we don't have um, the war horse from the previous run but it shouldn't make any big differences oh shoot oh shoot I um I think we have enough money right yeah, I think I think we do. We do have a lot of money. <laughs> oh my god, that is such a cute emote. <laughs> Pi gem, rush Pi gem. That is the emote from Rush Pirate One. <laughs> That is a cute cat emote. Do you watch them a lot, Yartza? Okay, come on. I'm quite concerned as to why is the bomb so slow. We have such a huge task on our hand. And I need you guys 
to step up your pace. Come on, let's go. I'm so afraid to stand in the middle of this patch of grass because it's so near the... Okay, okay. Almost there, almost. Come on. I hope I have enough coins. I hope I have enough coins. Okay. So, Jarza, this is what is inside of the monster portal. It's something. I hope, I hope I have enough points. Okay. Okay, everyone get, get out. Everyone get out. Ah! No. Okay, we did. We did survive. Yo, okay. The monarch has secured the kingdom. Yes. 15 days. Greed kill is 467. Okay, okay. That's good. So... Escape the cave with your crown intact. That is the achievement I just got. So I can survive. Interesting. So that means... <laughs> what happens in the third island can be... Can be prevented. Interesting. I don't have to die? Now I know. Now I know. Okay. So, what's our next plan? My next plan is to get out of this island and go to the next best island. I'm not even sure which one. Oops. Okay, so I do I do need a lot of money. So you guys do you guys have money? Mm, okay, not a lot, but okay-ish, I guess. Um sorry. <laughs> sorry, Vigo. Yes, your message did come true. Oh man, I'm so sorry. I, I was so excited. Destroying the monster's portal that I forgot to read your message um, uh, So at door 50 you have to find a book Books in a library and get a paper and then put the five digit code on the lock at door 51 Every book you find makes figure faster at door 100 the room starts with figure Oh, oh Okay uh, figure chasing you and you have to hide after that you have to find 10 fuses and a key and go to the power box to do a puzzle and run to the elevator before figure catches you my god vigor <laughs> i have to say i have to say you are a masochist why do you torture yourself <laughs> because for me that is such uh, a, a very stressful time 
you have to find the fuse while also figuring out the code. Okay, we do have a lot of arches. We do have that. Okay, so I am gonna call all of my troops, go into the ship, and then we can... Do we need any more money, do you guys think? I think, I think we do. I think we need a, a little bit more money. Do you guys not have money? Hello? Only one? Yo, why won't you guys give me money? Okay, that's, that's, that's okay, I guess. So this is the portal and this is the ship. I guess we should go to the third island because third island is safe. Or wait, which island is the... Oh, hmm. I'm not sure. But we do have War Horse. We, ha we do have War Horse on the third island. War Horse is good. And we have the Builder. Builder statue. That is also good. Hmm. Not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, there are also some passive on neutral entities. Yeah, do 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 let me know what other entities you have in that game. Not sure which island I'm gonna go next. Do I be linear about it and go to the second island? Only one samurai? What happened to the rest? I know there's two of you. Do we not have enough builders? What do you mean it's not? Oh my god. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, okay. Three samurais. Three samurais is good. Um, okay. So, um, bigger, um, Bleach is the first, he jump scares you when a room you enter fails to load, void traps player who are far behind their group in a multiplayer, uh, and damages them with a random percent of damage and then teleport them back to their group. Oh, that's nice of them. Um... Jack is just a rare jump scare that has 2.3 chance percent, 2.3 percent chance to appear after opening a chest, a closet. My God, I can't read. Whoops. Okay, let's go to the next island. Man, that took. 
quite a lot. Okay, so the first island is clear. Should we should we go to the Hmm. I think I think the I'm going to go with the third island. No, no, no. I am going to go with the second island so that we can have a chance to destroy the portal. That is our ultimate goal for today, which is to destroy as many of this monster portal as possible. So let's go with that, shall we? Um, Jack, uh, okay. Shadow is just an entity. Oh my god. What? Shadow is just an entity that appears and has only 0.095% chance to appear after opening a door. Why do we have... Oh, okay. So I guess the lighthouse allows you to... not have to rebuild your ship that is that it i'm still learning i'm still learning new stuff about this game so the one good thing i know about this is that i don't have to start from scratch Unlike Kingdom New Lands or Kingdom, where every single time you go to a new island, it doesn't matter if you already defeat the island previously or not, you have to start from scratch. Okay, so that's nice. Revive a land after 200 days of decay. What do you mean 200 days? <laughs> Does that mean I have been neglecting this island for, <laughs> for more than two centuries? <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. How many different islands in this game? Um, there's a lot actually, Jartza. Um, you have this first island, second island, third island, fourth, fifth, and probably more. I haven't gone through all of the islands, so I'm not sure how many there are in total. But so far, I have unlocked five, five of them. So, that's at least a minimum of five island. I thought this game only had one town. Um, are you thinking of Kingdom Classic, Jatsa? Um, in Kingdom Classic, I think you only have to defend your one base, your one kingdom. You only have that. And if you lost, you have to start all over again. Um, the concept of going to the next island you, um, is first introduced in Kingdom New Lands, which is the second game. And Kingdom Two Crowns is the third installment in, in the series. So yeah, it, it can be a little bit confusing. I do I do agree with that. Okay, we do we do need a lot of archers. Let's go.
Um, Vigor, do I confuse you with Jarza? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> um, I do, I do know that I, uh, I didn't had a chance to read your message yet, but. Oh, <laughs> yes, I did. I did confuse that. Okay. Why are you guys going out here? Hello? What the? F okay. Okay, um, I'm gonna wait to read that last entity uh, for a bit because I am scared. Hello? Okay, okay. Hmm. We do have a stable unlock, so so that's good. Well, you have certainly have a lot of coins. So I'm not that worried. Okay. And then first of all, we need to upgrade our castle. Nice. Oh man, we we need a lot of fun. Okay, while we wait for our um, give me money, sir. Hello? What are you doing? Okay, the one thing I hate about this game is that the banker is a little bit slow to give you money. I have to say that. Okay, while we are waiting for that, I'm gonna hire two more builders the rest can be all archers Merchant. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Is it a blood moon? A blood moon, okay. Um while we are waiting for the blood moon to pass, let's read the final entity from Vigor. Uh Okay, so Vigor, the last hostile but super rare entity is called A60. A60 is a common in only in a secret but in the actual game doors. Why do you give me money? What? Um, but in the actual game doors, he has only 0.0001% chance to appear after opening a door. If you get A60 in your first 100 run, then go play the lottery. That rare, huh? So why is he super rare? Is it... It, is it is it something for balancing purposes hello Santa hello hello 
How are you? How's your week? We do, we do have a lot of coins, so let's invest in getting some more samurais. And while we are doing that, let's, I guess, expand? Yeah, let's expand. I do, I do want to get, um... I do want to get, um... What does it call again? Oh gosh. Um... An upgraded samurai before we are able to destroy the monster's portal. It's fine. Not much happening really. Oh. Okay. Normal is good. Uh... I should, I should be able to spawn, spawn a blacksmith if I fully upgrade my barrier here now, okay. I guess I need to fully upgrade my barriers, huh? Oh, um, by the way, Santa, um, I, I, am I misremembering something or, um, are you the one that played a lot of Factorio? I am, I'm confused a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, um, last week, um, I did, I did play a lot of Factorio, right? And I reached to a certain point where... I'm. Uh, I can feel that I'm not having the ability to stream that game efficiently. I can play it on my free time, but I don't think I am um, capable of streaming it because there's a lot of brain power I need to to make it efficient, basically. So yeah. Thank you, thank you for uh, recommending for me playing Factorio. The game, the game was fun. It's just that it's difficult for me to stream the game. Last week, yes, I did, I did, I did play the game off stream. Um, just for a, a little bit, <laughs> just that, so that I can have some sort of progress. But I don't, I don't think I'm going to continue on streaming that game. What is going on here? <laughs> yeah, shame. I know because... You know when I played that game is because... I just sit there... And just in my own mind palace not talking to other people. That's the fun of streaming. You have to talk to other people. But if I am gonna sit there not talking, <laughs> I feel like that's gonna be such a boring stream to watch. I don't know. Maybe maybe sometime in the future I might, but I might buy the full game and stream it again. I I might invite you, Santa. Because I feel like having that kind of game, Factorio, 
they would benefit so much from having other people in your party. Oh, I I did I I did read your explanation why A sixty is rare. I I don't think I read it out loud. <laughs> Um, A60 is that rare because A60 is 5 times faster than Rush and can appear in rooms that normally entities can't spawn like in the courtyard. Oh my god. 5 times faster but... How? How are you able to... Dodge, not dodge, avoid... A60 then. What am I gonna do again? That's the thing. You can't avoid him. So it's a definitely game over then. Okay. What am I gonna do right now? So... I have so much money, I am... My coin purse is so... Over... Overfilled. Okay. Um, let's see. And you guys give me... Okay. Do I have any other active portals? No. So I just need to unlock the dog, the stable lady, and the deer, the elk. Okay. Fair enough. So let's do it then. I do, I do want to find some more people. This, this one. It is already night time. Um, bigger. Um, also there are items that exist indoors to help you win. Ooh. Yeah, do tell me more about that. Also, Santa. Yeah, in multiplayer, it seems easier. Paste it and get everything automatically built and you are too much of a perfectionist to get anything done. <laughs> then you can just plan a thing, copy, paste it and everything automatically built and you are too... Okay, sorry, what? Um, I did not read that message <laughs> correctly. Santa. In multiplayer, it seems easy. Don't know if you remember, but I've never actually been able to finish the game since you got overwhelmed and too ambitious with your plans after you unlock automatic builder bots. Then you can just plan a thing, copy, paste it, and get everything automatically built, and you're too much of a perfectionist to get anything done. Yeah, basically that. Um... The, the part where I um, I stopped streaming last week is at the point where you have to get a lot of things done. Um, I think it is the part of the tutorial where you have to um, rebuild the real system. Which is quite a lot actually and I am so overwhelmed with stuff to do. I mean, if you, um, if I can do stuff uh, without the pressure of streaming, I can do it. But um, with with streaming, there is this added pressure where if you, um, I don't know, it it sounds boring to just sit there and think. <laughs> Basically, I can I can feel myself being boring while playing that game. 
The game itself is fun. It's just that I'm the boring one. Okay, what what am I doing here? Okay, Vigor, um, vitamins is one of the items, so it makes you two times faster for a few seconds. Lock picks for a lock chest, the secret game and lock doors. Skeleton key for the secret and a door in a hospital room. Bandages to heal you 10 to 15% of your health. A lighter, flashlight and a candle uh, where it runs. Blue, if an entity is close, that's why it's the weakest light source. The last item is the crucifix, which you get rid of an entity if it's about to hurt you or kill you. Oh, and you are holding it, figure, and it only gets stunned. Okay. And in the lock room on the hospital room, you are re that requires the skeleton key. The herb which allows you to slowly regen health. E. Oh, speaking of crucifix, um, <laughs> have you guys heard about the game called Phasmophobia? <laughs> I actually wanted to play that game. I really, really want to play that game. It sounds like a really fun time. And <laughs> I watch um, um, this voice actor called um, Kyle Morcarly. He's the voice of, um, oh god, um, 9S in Near Automata. And I've, I've watched him play um phasmophobia and it's it's <laughs> it sounds like a really really fun time and i've been itching to play that game for quite a while now i haven't bought it yet but um i don't think my pc is able to handle it but <laughs> the way that you say that um a crucifix get rid of entity reminds me of that game man i i should i should have a look and see whether or not my pc is able to run that game or not you gonna look for a bit bigger okay have a nice lurk, okay? Go get some food, drink some water, cool yourself in the sweltering heat. Okay, what am I gonna do today? Oh right, I do, I do know what I'm gonna do. I am gonna unlock all of the stuff of this please what okay we unlock the the deer the elk okay what else can I do I can do this Lady, you're coming with me. Let's get you to safety. Man, I'm so glad that the Griffin is able to recover its stamina anywhere whatsoever. And you don't have to rely on a patch of grass. Because if you had to rely on a patch of grass to recover your stamina, your mount stamina. Man, I don't think... 
I don't think it's gonna be quite fun especially with how large the map is Man, I didn't have enough time to do anything whatsoever for my stream, huh? I remember I was planning to do some of my... Um, like, um, PNG tubing. I want to put a character here. Wait, can I, can I show? Yes, I want to put my characters here. But I... I didn't have enough time at all to to do anything to finish things up. I have the asset, but I didn't have the time to do anything whatsoever to finish things up and polish things. Oh shoot, okay. <laughs> I keep forgetting that it's Nine, and we still have an active portal that we need to handle. Okay, and also, I think, I think... We are gonna... Just clear up this side of the forest. Because I know that the left side... Sorry, not left side, right side is quite safe as there is no portals that are active. Man, this map is so huge. What else? What else can I do? I do want to expand on this side, but I think that's gonna be in the next two to three days. I do need to expand on the left side because if I were to bring the bomb with me, I need to go and bring the bomb as soon as possible so that's a goal for me to do man how how deep is this forest okay not that deep but it does take you quite a long while to do it okay you also got, um, Santa, you also got intimidated with trains in Factorio because you basically have to program them to work and you've never learned how to use them properly. I know. The reason why, yeah, same, same, same Santa. I got so overwhelmed with just how messy things get that I basically don't know how and where to start. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one who feels that way. <laughs> okay. So, my goal is... Can I...? No, it's too late in the day. Hmm. Do I need more builders, do you think? I think, I think we do. Okay. So, 
Um, here's the plan. We are on day seven on this island. We are gonna need a lot, a lot more. Um, I guess builders, huh? And we do need to further expand on the left side, much, much further into the forest before we can even destroy the portal. But you can beat the game without using trains. I don't think the demo is actually the best way to learn the basics. The mission seems really hard compared to free play. Really? Oh man. Have I been playing the game on such difficulty? <laughs> You would you would think that the demo would handhold you for quite a bit compared to the version that you would actually pay for it. Interesting. Hey, can I? We are gonna spend a lot of money clearing up this forest. That's a lot of money you guys have, huh? Okay, you know what? I am gonna deposit some of my excess money to the kingdom's coffer. Okay, that should be enough. Okay, let's fully <laughs> fully clear up the forest at least at least so that we can expand much much further. You guys can hold on to that coins for me, right? Man, we have so much money. <laughs> I wish this is my real life. <laughs> Overflowing with money. Okay. So, do we need a lot more archers? Why not? Why not two more? Waller, everyone. Okay, nice. Now we can go out and venture. What do you... My god. Look at this. We do have a small patch of grass here, which means there's like 
coming through to the soil, right? Which means I can destroy this forest. But apparently it's not that... It's not possible? Interesting. I do need to clear up until this section. you guys quickly quickly oh man oh man okay Oof, okay Uh, you think the best way to learn is to play the normal game or if you can't figure something out, watch a video or wiki for tips. Bacterio has a super active community and there's tips and ideas for everything. That's how you played it. Oh, okay. Interesting. Of course, if there's someone to show you the ropes, that helps too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think that's maybe the reason why I didn't stream games such as Stardew Valley or something in that vein. It's because um, I am not familiar with games like that. Um, base building game I have to say because um, yeah oh god okay <laughs> hello ruby orchid Ro orchid <laughs> ruby orchid you're lucky addicted to this game yeah there's so many things to do have you played have you finished this game by the way ruby orchid I am currently on my way to destroy a goblin's cave. We managed to destroy the one in the first island and in the third island. So I'm destroying the one in the second island next. So good. And you love the griffin. No, you haven't. You got swarm on the fifth island, which is <laughs> same. Same this. I think I think I died on the let's see which I think it's on the second monarch yeah <laughs> the second monarch I got swarmed by gridlings and got my crown stolen and <laughs> on the third on the third monarch, I got so distracted that I got jumped on. Such a silly mistake by me. But look at this. Apparently, I got an achievement previously. It says that I've been abandoning this second island for more than 200 days <laughs> is it 200 days or 200 weeks or 200 years 200 days why did i say centuries before <laughs> i realized that i did something that doesn't make sense it's 200 days which is less than a year Okay, so um, <laughs> um, my goal right now is to try and get the blacksmith to spawn somehow. In order for that to spawn, I need to at least 
get the iron wall set up. Well, maybe the time is weird in this world because I know it would take a lot longer to build a wall in real life. Yeah, <laughs> actually, yeah, you do make sense because this is what? Day 27? Winter come in like, what? A few more days? And the winter doesn't last as long. I think it's only, what? 15? 15 days of intense winter and then it's done so yeah it does make sense huh okay okay so that is samurai please tell me that the blacksmith spawns okay okay good job good job so the blacksmith does spawn. Have you tried um, to destroy the goblin's cave, Ruby? <laughs> the first time I've tried to destroy a, a portal, I made such a silly mistake on letting my knights die whereas in actuality you can survive the whole ordeal I didn't know okay so that guy is coming and taking the sword or armor Nice. Which means I should be ready for the goblin's invasion. I have to say. I love the sound effect that <laughs> the dying deer makes. <laughs> okay, everyone get back inside the castle walls because it's almost night time. It's exactly because of that. It's because the forest is so dense that you didn't notice that it's already night time. That's what happens to me okay, you know what I should <laughs> I'm a psychopath <laughs> oh man I guess I am huh it's just that the sound effect they make is so Satisfying. Then again, I am talking in game, not in real life. <laughs> okay. I do. I okay. One thing that I should be prepared is to have some money in my coin purse. Which none of you is gonna produce, huh? Okay. Okay, so I have to go back. Oof, okay, so what to do now? We need quotes on this channel. <laughs> oh, believe me, I have so many things planned for this channel. It's just that I didn't have the time to implement stuff. Uh, 
Okay, wait. Um... I do, I do have this. Do we have builders on this side? I don't think so. Okay, okay. Um, we do have enough money, so let's go. Oh man, this is... This is really risky, what I'm doing right now. We, we haven't fully expand. So that means I am gonna travel oh, quite quite a bit before we reach the main portal. But I think we can still manage to do it. Oh shoot, okay. I keep on forgetting that I shouldn't send my builders to chop trees or build walls when it is already evening. Okay, so we're just gonna need to wait. Let's wait for a bit and see. Hmm. Still quite a bit, huh? The one thing that I don't know about is that how do I know I don't see a pattern forming when it's gonna be a blood moon night or not? The only telltale sign of a blood moon is gonna happen or not is the, the symbol for the day is gonna turn red. Okay, everyone, we have destroy, we have to destroy the goblin cave before, before the blood moon. So let's go. Day twenty. 28 I shouldn't I shouldn't spend my coins willy-nilly because we do need a lot of them oh man oh man this is gonna be quite quite a battle Mostly because that the Samurais and the bomb is quite slow. But we do reach there just in time. And it's only in the morning before noon. So that's good. Oh shoot! I never... Oops. Uh oh... I never... Okay. So fingers crossed... We are gonna do this in one shot. And not get myself killed in the process. Oh god, okay. 
Attack, my knights. Attack. Oh, shoot. Okay. That's two down. I always love the way that this. You see this? Oh shoot! Okay. Okay, come on. You just need to wait. Come on. Are you kidding me? Okay, let's go. Go, 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 go! Go! Oh my god, it's so far away. Oh my god. Am I gonna make it? Oh my god. Yes! Okay. Woo! Farmer's Hyatt Zero. <laughs> okay. Thank goodness. I mean, we did... I did leave behind... A lot of my... Um, troops behind. We lost one samurai. Lost one... Builders. And four archers. So... It's, it's a battle. That... Overall, we won, but not without some losses in the process. What was that, Jutza? Um, that was the monster portal that we managed to destroy. Uh, yeah, that that is my goal for today, which is to <laughs> to destroy as much portal as possible. Um, Vigor, you're back, and you actually saw something two minutes ago in Twitter. The developers of Doors made buffs and nerfs of the entities, their chances and stuff. Ooh. Yeah, you tell me what is the biggest changes that they've done. We still have three, three of the knights, samurais, so that's good. I think, I think, yeah, we can go and proceed on with the next island. Sure, yeah, let's go to the next island. That's for sure. Uh, okay. Um, let's see. I want to destroy all of the forests. On this side, I don't even need all of them. So why not, in the process, destroy them? I can sell all the woods for some money, and that money can improve on the kingdom's economy. So to figure, so to figure on door fifty. The speed boost figure gets with each book is reduced from 10 plus 10 percent per book to 8 percent per book. Okay. Creatures' chances are reduced from 11 percent per second to 10 percent per second. Okay, okay, kind of fair. Oh shoot, okay, um, I do need a lot of coins. I don't see the dog, actually. Have you guys seen a dog? Or is the dog never gonna spawn? 
Oh gosh. Hmm. Ambush has a 0.75% chance to spawn on door 2 instead of 0.5% and the chance per door is increased by 0.5 to 2.75 B uh before door 60 and from 6.5 to 7% after door 60 Okay, okay, you guys, while you guys are doing that, I am gonna go and go to the end of this island, to the right, fix the, I wanna say lighthouse, is that, is that it? Um, ice. Chances before the greenhouse are reduced from 7.5 to 3.65. Ooh, big change. Almost half. Okay, let's build the... Okay. So the lighthouse has been fully upgraded, so that's nice. Accenta. <laughs> this percentage are very hard to contextualize in a meaningful way. <laughs> I mean, uh, I, I, I can sort of understand what um, the chances of stuff being spawned or not. I mean... <laughs> uh... I, I just, the way for me to relate to such percentage is by relating to how stuff um, spawn in Hades, for example. Hades is a game that use a lot of probability. So, yeah, it's not that far away from Hades in that sense. So maybe that's why I am able to visualize how stuff works or not. <laughs> six, uh, six flood. Uh, six is one percent slower on the first encounter, and a sixty chances are increased from point zero 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 one percent to point zero one. Oh, crucifix works on A60 if you have it. Oh, nice. I wait. Before the changes, does it not work on A60? Where is the builder? Why are they not building? Thing. Okay, I, I don't think we can get the dog. So the next best way for me to do to to do right now is to just proceed on with the next island, shall we? Okay, we do How many samurai do we have? Right now, interesting. It's a blood moon night, but 
things are already done. There's no more active portal. So there shouldn't be any more threat happening in this world. Wait, we have four samurais? So two outside and we have two inside this. Interesting. Also, rush chances after door 50 are increased from 10% to 11.5%. Oh, the crest. Crucifix still work, that's why they buffed him. So yeah, okay, interesting. Okay, so right now, um Okay, I am gonna ask you guys. What do you guys think? Should I Should I Go to the third island and get all of my. Uh, unlock all of the unlockables in this island as well as upgrade the lighthouse. Or should I go to the fourth island and try and destroy the monster bottle? What do you guys think? Did I, um, Santa, um, did I hear about a guy who beat it unmodified with max heat? Yes, I did. That's insane. Heat 64. Insane. I think he's using Hestia, right? Aspect of Hestia. That is insane. Heat 64. I barely managed with heat 32. Oh my god, I, I haven't watched the full run yet, but the way that I see it, he is really, really good at it. Oh man. <laughs> Absolute mad lad. Man, they sure do play a lot of that game. Okay, so what am I gonna do? Um, Vigor, um, you find a few mods about doors that exist, want to know them? Um, I think, um, I think, um, uh, we are gonna put on that on hold for a bit because I am gonna go, I think, I think I'm gonna go to the next island. Which is gonna be quite difficult. Which is, I think, is gonna be the fourth island. Which still has one active portal. Hmm, interesting. Weirdest thing is, it didn't take him long at all to do it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because at full, at full heat, the time limit... Um, it's like what? Three minutes? Three minutes per run? Per level, I should say. He had previously beaten it with mods so that he has perfect luck every run. Ooh. But yeah, it's... It's even bonkers that he is able to do it. And... Bear in mind, at max heat, you will get 0% healing whatsoever. You basically have to rely on stubborn defiance. Absolute madness, right? Okay. Um... You know what? Yeah, let's let's go to the fourth island. Sure. 
You gotta go bigger? Okay, thank you for dropping by, okay? I really do appreciate it. And for the insight about the door scheme. And it was calculated that it would take on, on average something like 200, 2000 runs to get everything to line up perfectly so that he can even try to beat it. And I think he had under 100 runs and after he did it. Realistically, he would have needed like two 20,000 tries. <laughs> well, how many times? So he had 100 runs, right? How many of that is from um, a seeded run? I'm not even going to go to the 5th island. I'm going to go with the 4th island and make our way that way. Because I noticed something, right? Um, when you play um, Hades, right? If you, let's say you made it to Tartarus, right? Sorry, not Tartarus, Asphodel. If you made it to Asphodel and you didn't get the best setup possible that synergized with your playstyle or weapon, then you can basically reset it. I think that is what they call a seated run, right? Wasn't seated? The 100 run is not seated. Like he had practice on a modified game, but after he started runs, for real, it took him no time at all. Aha, uh -huh, but so he did practice on a modified game. So that is considered... Um, yeah, I guess. I guess for an unseated, unseated run. Yeah, it is quite a miracle he is even able to do it at 100 runs. And yeah, within 100 runs. But he had your experience at how difficult um, uh, a full heat is going to throw at him. So yeah, so realistically saying, he does have an experience playing at full max heat for more than 100 run. Even if it is a modified and seeded run. I always found it funny that <laughs> even with me playing on a, like what in a run that I know uh, let's say in torturous right you you will know after playing quite a some time that you will know what weapon or boon you're gonna get based on certain patterns that you are doing I think that's what they call a seated run or am I confusing a seated run with a really modified game? Anyway, you can you can control the probability of certain gods to show. Let's say, for example, if you are using um, uh, Stygius, Aspect of Poseidon, which means you have a 50% cast bonus, right? If I remember correctly. Um, and you use a lot of cars, right? And the next time you see, let's say, um oh, who is it? Artemis, for example, Artemis, or you see Chaos, you would most definitely get a boon that is related to a cast a cast related boon. So you can control the outcome of stuff, so yeah, but the way that he is able to do it in such a short amount of time, for me personally, the hardest part of a high heat run is that the enemies are really, really fast. If you turn on 
Oh, maximum overtime? Yeah, if you turn on overtime, the enemies are moving really, really quick and my brain cannot handle that kind of speed. I am not sure how he is able to do it. Okay, so back to this game. <laughs> I get I get so distracted. Man, I can't wait to play Hades 2. I love Super Giant has the best character design in a game. I mean look at Melino. Melinoe? Melino. The the way that her character this design is really, really cool. I love her. And I even... I don't even get a chance to play her yet. Ooh, the bear. Okay, so basically the pier is still safe, so that's good. Okay. So, I do need to repair the kingdom first. I don't, uh, you don't know everything the seed affects, but you think the room and the gods are the same every time. Not sure if the booms are the same as well, or if you need more modifying for that. Um, hmm, let me think about that. Um, I think, I think not every single... Hmm. I don't think any, everything is a constant. Uh, you can affect... Um, for example, the type of weapon you use does affect what kind of gods you get, if I'm not mistaken. Or is it? Not even sure. But I do know, for example, in Tartarus, right? Um, if you use a certain attack, um, you will you will get the chance to spawn a boon that will affect your most preferred playstyle. Recently, I've had um, a lot of fun using the aspect of Poseidon, actually, or Stygius, and aspect of Rama for the bow, aspect of Hestia? No, is it Hestia? Which one is it that if you stand in the special, you get uh, an attack boost? For the gun, the the real gun. I've I I had a lot of fun with that with that gun. Mostly because you deal a lot of damage. <laughs> you can't remember. I haven't played in in a while. <laughs> I did, I did play it uh, a few times this week. That's why it's still a little bit fresh on my mind. Okay, so this... I... Don't even want the Komodo Dragon. 
The Komodo Dragon looks nice, but it's not a requirement for me. to destroy two portals okay hmm also um while speaking of Hades right the one aspect of the game that I really really don't like about using is the shield I, I, I don't know, maybe it's because um, whenever I use the shield, maybe I'm not used to the idea of the shield, but I always, always um, it affects my playstyle in such a way that I become a much, much slower overall. And I don't know how to fix that. Mostly people would say, get good. <laughs> okay, what am I gonna do right now? Oh my god. <laughs> I just noticed that I've been streaming for almost 3 hours. Okay, okay. That's okay. So, um... Plan is... For me to get to destroy the remaining bottle and to and to destroy the final main portal. Guess that is a reasonable quest. Okay. We have only five builders. Interesting. Okay, we do we do need to have what are you guys doing? Hello? Okay, lady, why are you still out in the wilderness? There isn't any more camp. This whole stretch of island, there's no more. My god. Okay. Hmm. What is the best strategy right now? The best strategy here right now is to get as many archers as possible, I guess. And to somehow spawn the blacksmith. Sounds reason reasonable enough. The lighthouse is fully upgraded. I don't have to worry about that. Hmm. 
I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to do. Speaking of not knowing what to do, <laughs> I don't even know what what game I'm gonna play tomorrow. I mean, I do I do have a few that I have in mind, but I'm not sure how fun it's gonna be. It's quite a random game I found way back. Uh, not way back. Um, I think it was three months ago. I found the game like three months ago, being recommended by me um, by Steam. And I thought, why not? The game looks fun. <laughs> Albeit a little bit weird, I have to say. You guys just have to watch tomorrow, I guess. wish that there's a way for me to somehow make the builder builds faster This is the catapult. I don't even need catapult at this juncture. So what more do we, do we want? Do you guys have any money? Only two coins? Hmm... Please tell me the blacksmith is gonna... is gonna... spawn right now? Please, I'm begging. Yes, okay. I think I think I'm gonna do it twice. That should be enough. Pick that up. I wonder why that the knight turned around. Hello? Shouldn't you be going 
interesting. That's good. Okay, so right now I should be focusing on expanding. Okay, let's see. Where is the... Okay, so this is the nearest dirt mount. Is it? Yeah, that's the nearest dirt mount that we can. Um, Santa. So yeah, you just checked the odds to get a run where it's possible to attempt a max hit run was one in 6,802 <laughs> and that's a lenient estimate and in, reali in reality it's probably lower if we assume it takes 45 seconds to reset a run it would mean that you have to play 85 hours on average to get a luck in which max hit is even possible oh shoot 85 hours on average and that is just a luck to to get it done. Man. Oh man. That guy must be quite skilled. I wonder what his gaming chair is. <laughs> Okay, how far in the day are we? Okay, it's almost, almost in the evening. So I shouldn't push my luck that much. Okay, that should be enough. And of course, you have to be a god in the game to even make it. Yeah, some people are really, really skilled at that. Okay, everyone, get back inside. <laughs> Let's take this game, for example. I know for certain that some people will play this game at a much, much higher difficulty than this. But bear in mind, I... Never had any um, experience with this game. So basically, I'm playing this game blind, right? So I'm still learning how to do stuff. But hopefully, in the future, when I, when I play this game again, after I've beaten it, I might try and go for a much, much more... Um, Higher difficulty? Yeah, that's the word. Oh, shoot. Run, 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 little dude. Run. And apparently, it only... Oh, shoot. It only took him a couple hours to do it. What are the chances of that? Are we in the lottery, le lottery level of chances yet? I guess so, huh? I mean... Yeah, 
yeah basically yeah the way he is even even able to do it in the first place is a miracle by itself but then again some people practice makes perfect i guess And to be able to practice that game for quite a while, I guess, does help him in his chances to build 64 heat. Oh yeah, there's only two people in the world who have beaten a max heat run in a modified game and now one of them did it unmodified. <laughs> yeah, see, those guys, if you look at, uh, for example, a bell curve, right? Those guys are like, what, the top 0.01%? 0.0001% So yeah It bound to happen Especially given that Hades Has been released for like what? 5 years now? Is it 2018 or 2019? So it's no wonder there's gonna be a people gonna be <laughs> Able to defeat the game at a max heat but then again I heard that there's um, <laughs> there's rumor that the game developer Supergiant Games didn't even intend for the game to be even defeated to be beaten at max heat because you didn't get any special dialogues in the game so that's always oh come on uh oh uh oh uh oh okay you guys run Why are you guys... Uh oh... <laughs> I, I got... I got too cocky there. I got too cocky. And now I'm gonna pay the price. How many builders did I lose? Interesting. Okay, you guys go there, okay? Uh-uh, uh-uh, this coin is not for you, bitch. Give me my coin. Okay. Come on, dudes. My little dudes. 
fix fix it. Come on. Point one percent. Try. Oh god, that's so. That's a long number, huh? That's two out of seven billion. Although I suppose it should be lower since there are more humans than that already. We've just gotten used to that number. <laughs> I mean, is it even seven billion though? Because technically, our sample size is based on how many people the total human population that has played Hades, right? So our sample size is much, much lower than that. So. Maybe not out of 7 billions, but... Eh... Maybe, maybe, maybe a couple hundred thousand. Is, is it hundred... Hundred thousands or... Has... Is it in the realm of millions? I'm not even sure. What is the player base? How many... Players are actively playing Hades right now. I would say my myself is only average. Maybe upper average on a good day, but overall average to lower average. That's my skill level in any game. <laughs> I'm not I'm not oh shoot. Uh, I'm not I'm not that really skillful in games, especially in higher heat. It sold almost one million on the first day of release. Then. <laughs> Then it is much higher than that, huh? What? Okay. Interesting. Okay, you know what? You know what? Since we are in the beginning of the day, so let's send our samurai out to destroy the portal. have to destroy one more portal before we even need to destroy the main portal nice So, 
Whoa, okay, so it's not that far away, so it's totally doable. Okay, okay, okay. I can definitely do that. So, my goal right now is to... First and foremost is because we are gonna experience a blood moon in between of that, so we are gonna make catapults. Um, oh, Santa. Oh no, sorry. According to Wikipedia, it was during early release when they sold 700,000 and within 3 days of release additional 300,000 so in total it is in the week of release out of beta they sold 1 million ah uh -huh. no worries but still that is an impressive amount of games. My god, what is going on here? Uh oh! Yes! Okay. Nice. Now I don't have to worry about Blood Moon anymore. What is my goal right now? My goal right now is to... First and foremost, create two builders. And then... Build this contraption. And then we just go. Just go and destroy all of the monster portal. I think I think we better wait for the next day, huh? We do need to have a lot more coins. Why is the bomb always the slowest one? Interesting. So you could argue 1 million in 3 days, but not really since pre ordering our early access was much longer. <laughs> 3 days after the full release that's i think that's the correct statement even though uh, the early access is much longer i think i think i am i bought the game in early access and i had a lot of fun playing that <laughs> i remember <laughs> i remember there's uh, a lot of change happened to dionysus boons but the one constant that I had throughout the entirety of the game, whether it be in early access or right now, is that I always choose Athena's dash. That's how OP Athena's dash is. I'm so glad I bought that game in early access actually. I think I bought that game in early access for I think 
four to five months before it was released. Full, there's uh, four to five months before it was fully released. Okay, so the moment of truth. Okay, let's go. Go. Yes, yes. Ooh, that's that's a lot. That's a lot. Okay. I know this is gonna be quite. That's a lot of notes. Ooh, so bubbly. I love the sound effect in this game. The heartbeat sound. Okay. Let's go! Go, 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 go! Don't look back. Don't look back. Run. Run! Oh my god. Yes! We survive. Oh my god. Defeat the greed on four islands. Legend will be passed. Yes! <laughs> Man, there's, <laughs> there's a lot of people. Okay, we we lose all of our samurais, but that's okay, I guess. We still manage to retain all of our builders, so that's good. Okay, so that is a good way to end the stream actually. Let's return back to the to the home base. We managed to do a lot of progress. We managed to destroy three goblin bottles. So that's good. That's a lot of progress in three hours time. I guess, yeah, I guess in the next stream, um, I should focus on getting all of the unlockables. As you can see that there's this whole island that I didn't unlock yet. 
uh, I, I don't think I can unlock the dog at this point because I didn't see <laughs> I didn't see the note for it um yeah I guess I guess I can the lighthouse on the fourth island is already fully upgraded um there's no diamond. Hmm, interesting. Um, so yeah, I am gonna... What am I gonna do? I think I'm gonna focus on the next um, session, next stream, just to have a relaxing time, unlocking stuff, and at the end of it, I'm gonna go to the fourth island, and we'll see whether or not we are able to make progress on the fifth island. The island that we lose so much progress. <laughs> but we'll just have to see. We, we just have to see how it goes. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Santa. Thank you to Vigor. Thank you to our new watcher. For today which is jetza and also ruby orchid thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate you coming and watching the stream appreciate it um thank you so much for watching and tomorrow we are gonna play some new games and we'll see we'll see how it goes i never played that game before so i'm not sure what sort of um game is gonna be whether or not i'm gonna enjoy it or not but i know one thing's for sure i am excited for it but for now i'm gonna bid farewell and call it a day thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next stream goodbye